About a year ago, Police Chief Stan York noticed some alarming crime trends that were occurring in Statesboro, and he sought out help to bring the situation under control. About a year ago, we noticed an increase in the number of crimes that were being committed by uh, criminals that use of firearms and also an increase in drug use. As a result of that, I asked to, uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Southern District of Georgia for help and assistance. As a result of this, we partnered up with the uh, ATF agencies in our city here to do an undercover operation. The result of this operation uh, netted over uh, 100 uh, defendants uh, eventually. I know we got 67 or so that's in custody, probably another 18 that they we're looking for, and about 10 or so that uh, uh, we got still to identify. This operation, entitled Operation Statesboro Blues, incorporated numerous law enforcement agencies a uh, very um, long and protracted uh, undercover investigation was conducted uh, by uh, ATF, the Statesboro Police Department, uh, the Bureau of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and the Multi-Agency Crack Enforcement Task Force, or otherwise known as MACE, and a host of other law enforcement agencies. All total, about 200 law enforcement officers uh, today uh, executed numerous arrest warrants, federal and state, uh, in the uh, Statesboro area. Uh, we indicted uh, 60 federal uh, defendants and 34 state defendants. So this is uh, the culmination of a 10-month undercover investigation. A major drug seizure would result from this operation. Uh, you name it, it was uh, crack and powder cocaine, it was ecstasy, it was marijuana, it was methamphetamine. Uh, there was a, a street value of about $250,000 uh, worth of uh, drugs were uh, confiscated in this case. Numerous guns were seized also. 103 guns were seized. Uh, they ranged from uh, pistols, revolvers, sawed-off shotguns, regular uh, shotguns, rifles, assault rifles, and all these guns were in the hands of active uh, criminals on the streets of Statesboro. So we're, we're very uh, happy to uh, have those guns off the street and the people that use them uh, in custody. Now, almost all of the people arrested were from the Statesboro area. When we asked could there possibly be a connection to other cities such as Atlanta or Miami, Chief York replied, uh, You're talking into a further and similar operation that's ongoing that I can't comment about. This has been Roosevelt Hall for ENN.